Hey guys, welcome back. It's Sarah Chung. Today I'm going to show you guys what I got from Sephora because I did a little bit of online shopping and I know y'all are online shopping. Sephora is doing a spring savings event and they rarely have these savings events. I think they have only a couple a year. So I waited all year for this and I got a lot of good stuff. So I just want to show you guys what I got, hopefully give you some inspiration. So I partnered with Sephora to show you guys all of the ways that you can save money. This spring savings event is for all tiers, not just Rouge members. You just need the code spring save and you can use it as many times as you want. You can use it in the US and Canada and I'll have all the links to all the products I talk about in the description. So here are the savings you're gonna get. I have notes on my laptop just so I get all the dates right. For insiders, it's from April 23rd to April 27th and you get 10% off your entire order and it's multi-use. For VIBs, it's from April 21st to April 29th and it's 15% off, also multi-use. And for Rouge members, it's April 17th to May 1st and it's 20% off, which is crazy because so many of these brands at Sephora never go on sale. There are some items I got that I waited a long time to get. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So here here are my Sephora picks. First up, we have the Huda Beauty Pastels in Mint. I have to talk about this first because that's the situation I have on my eyes. This has been such a popular product. I see so many people use it. And I only use this once, but I love the shades, especially this mint. Like, I feel like not a lot of people do mint correctly. And I love these shimmer shades. The only complaint I have is that they're not very opaque. Like, it packs a lot of shimmer, but it's almost like loose shimmer. You can use it as a lid topper or what I did today as a very subtle inner corner highlight. But I did definitely like the matte shades more in terms of formula. It took me so much willpower to not get the rose version of this palette. Cause you know me, I like pink, but I just want it to be a little bit more adventurous. And I actually really dig this look I did today. <laughs> I'm not doing this by category because I want you to see a little bit of everything. I don't buy a lot of fragrance, but I feel like it's been so long and I've just been stuck in a fragrance funk. And this packaging just immediately caught my attention. This is really fancy and I normally wouldn't get something like this, but I have two pet snakes at home. So this was very me. So this is the clutch and this is what it looks like inside. So this is my first Killian fragrance and it's called Voulez Vous Coucher Avec Moi. I definitely butchered that and it smells so good. It makes you smell like a sinner. I'm just so obsessed with the packaging. There's a K on the lid. It's just... I don't know about its lasting power yet, but honestly, if I have to spray this on every couple of hours, I would do it. And I'm planning on taking this foam thing out and just using this as an actual clutch. And this is heavy too. It's not just something that comes with the fragrance. It's actually a pretty sturdy, nice little clutch. This is probably the fanciest and my favorite thing from the haul. Next up, let me show you more palettes. So this Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Face Palette. I've been meaning to get this for a second, but I just could never push myself to get something more high-end when I have so many highlighters already. Ready? you'll understand why I'm obsessed with this if you look at this. I really love it when the product itself, whether it's a bronzer or a blush or whatever, when a pressed powder has a unique mold, it just looks so nice in the pan. I know it's like really extra of me. It doesn't change anything about the formula, but this is beautiful. This is what I have on today. This is the type of highlight where you can brush it all over your face for like a very all over glow effect. This is the shade I use today. Love it. The next palette is also something that's been on my wish list for a long time. Sephora savings event is just when all the items from my wish list moves to the cart. This is the Dior Backstage Custom Eye Palette. And look how pretty. So when I first saw this on Trend Mood, I thought it was just a really nice neutral basic palette. What I didn't know is that this custom palette actually has a shadow to liner gel right here. So you can turn any of these shades into an eyeliner. So it gives you so much control. And just the fact that it has such a rusty brown and a silver and a matte black. The possibilities are endless. You can create so many looks with this. I feel like this is the palette for someone who's not really into makeup or if you're new to makeup because you get so much from such a small palette and you get a lid primer too. Everything in one. So yeah, super cute. Next, I got the Marc Jacobs Bronzing Coconut Body Stick. This is a newer product and I love that it's huge. This is the only bronzer I have on today and I've always wanted something really big like this because I just want to do two big swipes and this is my first time using it but I feel like it has kind of a blurring effect which I love. I can't wait to try to use this on my body which is what this is designed for and it smells like coconuts. There's a little bit of shimmer but not so much that you can't contour with this. I don't know. I just really love this and I applied this underneath and on top of foundation so it blends really well. I love the cream products. I've just never seen something like this because all the stick bronzers you see are so so thin and I have a big face. See, if I were to do a thin line of bronzer right here, it wouldn't make any sense. I just think this is such a nice product to have, especially if you're traveling 
just a little bit on the face a little bit on your body so cute next we have this little eyeshadow quad from rowan beauty this is a new brand i've never seen this at sephora before this eyeshadow palette is called 75 degrees and this caught my eye because all these shadows look so creamy and the shimmers look crazy i haven't actually tried it on my eyes yet but i have swatched it and you kind of have to push a little hard to get all the pigment out which is what they recommended on the packaging but once you do it's such a creamy formula i think this is a vegan brand and i also love how sleek the packaging looks i just thought i would try something new next i picked up this kozas i think that's how you pronounce it wet lip oil i love an oil based gloss because oil just feels so much more moisturizing it's not as sticky and it still has that very shiny glossy look like sometimes when i'm doing a natural look i would like to tap like a little bit of face oil just on the high points on my cheek and it's so reflective like if you wear lip oil all the time you probably know what i'm talking about so i was really intrigued by this this is in a shade jellyfish on the website it said it was supposed to be clear but this clearly has a bit of a pink tint but it doesn't really show up when you put it on it still has a little bit of a sticky feeling i think they went with half oil and half traditional gloss if that makes sense but it still looks really good and it's very reflective which is exactly what i want in a gloss okay are y'all ready for this next is the tarte bb tinted treatment 12 hour primer is it a bb cream is it a primer and it doesn't say so on the packaging but this is spf 30 and i'm so into sunscreen primers like the biggest complaint and the biggest reason i feel like people don't use spf is just the look of it so a primer makes your skin look better and to add spf to it is just the best of both worlds i really love my polish choice spf primer so i was dying to try this but this also has a little bit of a tint so it kind of looks like foundation it looks really orange out of the tube but you can blend it out and it just looks more bronzed this is also fragrance free so i'm super excited to try this on my skin love this next is an oldie i've already used up one whole stick of this which is why i repurchased this this is the fenty matchsticks in amber and amber is just the perfect contour shade if your skin color is similar to mine this is so perfect and i love that this is the perfect size to contour my nose it's in a stick but it's not waxy it's creamy and so easy to blend i think this is my favorite matchsticks out of all the ones that fenty has and i think fenty has like 50. if you haven't tried this out yet and you like to do cream contour try this now next is a little concealer that i've had my eyes on since its launch but just never pulled the trigger this is the nar soft matte complete concealer i looked through my concealer collection and i don't have one single pot concealer i'm just giving myself excuses for why I bought this. But recently, I've just wanted a higher coverage concealer and I remember swatching this at Sephora and it was so creamy and velvety. It feels like smooth cream. And I knew my skin was gonna love this and this spring savings event was the final push. But yeah, this is what I have on my skin right now. I have this right here and here to cover a little bit of discoloration. And I feel like this would work for so many skin types. The one thing I don't like though, cause you know I love my long nails. You see this? I literally cannot get my finger to touch the products because of my nails so what i do instead is i scoop out a little with my nail and then i apply it don't judge me i'm not gonna give up my nails another product i've had my eyes on for a long time this is the highlighting duo pencil by anastasia beverly hills i needed a crayon for cleaning up my brows and i just never bought one because this is just so much easier than using a brush and using liquid concealer and i discovered you can also use this if your lipstick is bleeding you can just clean it up with this concealer and this is the shimmer side and you can use it for a little bit of cupid's bow highlight or you can even use this on your nose bridge so i got two of the marc jacobs highlighter matte gel eye crayon i love these eyeliners this is the perfect eyeliner for tight lining i'm not sure if it says waterproof but it acts waterproof i actually have this eyeliner but in black and that one is a satin finish and that one was great for tight lining so i just wanted to get a couple more i love a matte eyeliner and i usually like a brown liner when i'm doing my everyday makeup so this is gonna come in handy and i also got this in the shade out of the blue just because i've always wanted a blue eyeliner i think it just instantly makes you look so editorial probably gonna use this tomorrow i really like this nars laguna lipstick think of a shimmery bronzer but in a tube this has such a nice brown tint and i think it complements asian skin tone so well and it's so sheer it's the type of lipstick that you can put on without looking at a mirror and i think it's perfect for me because y'all know that i love wearing a nude lip i wear it in almost all of my looks and i just wanted something like that but with a little bit more oomph and i'm going to be wearing a lot of this the last product is actually what i have on my lips right now which is the marc jacobs pout liner longwear lip pencil so because i love their highliner so much i just 
decide to try this because I can never find a long wearing lip liner that can last me throughout the whole day. I always have to reapply and I actually got this shade because all the other ones were sold out. This is in the shade O Coco, but I'm so glad I got this because I put it on today and it just gives the perfect lip contour and it makes my lips look so much more juicy. I've been wearing this for a couple hours and it still looks really good. So we'll see. Okay, just kidding. I have one more product to talk about. This is the Olaplex Hair Perfector number three. And this is a patented technology. It repairs and strengthens your hair. This is not a hair conditioner. This is a hair treatment. If you've had Olaplex treatments at the salon, you would know how dramatic the difference is just from using Olaplex. And I think this is a lower concentration than the salon ones, but this is great for maintenance because I don't know if I told y'all, but I permed the f out of my hair because I wanted straight hair. It didn't work, but it fried the hell out of my ends. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like I bleached my hair 10 times. I remember back then when it first came out, I used this and it helped my hair so much. So I just want to try it again now that I ruined my hair the second time. And yeah, that's it. That's everything I got from Sephora. Let me know what products you are the most hyped about and what you got. All the products I talked about are linked down below and I'll see you next time. Bye.